friends around the world. Uh, we praise God that uh, we can continue to study a very, very familiar story in the Bible. Probably you've heard about this many, 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 many times already. But because the Word of God is, as the book of Hebrews says, is alive, is quick, powerful, uh, that is why um, it's always fresh. It's always uh, uh, speaking to us. And there are always beautiful lessons or, or reminders that uh, encourages each one of us. So we are now in Genesis chapter 44. Yesterday we, we learned that uh, that uh, that uh, Jacob or Israel uh, gave permission because he had no other choice but to send his uh, son Benjamin to go with, with his other children or else they would be able to get some food and they, they're running out of food already. But of course, uh, it, it's still a struggle to Jacob uh, that, uh, that Judah took the, the initiative to assure Jacob that he will really, really take care of, of the young, his youngest son. He took the responsibility for his, for his safety. And, and Jacob, on his part, says that, what can I do? Except he prayed for, for them and just accept that, you know, if I, he said, if I'm bereaved, I'll just, I'll just be, be grieved. So it's a uh, no-win situation as far as Jacob and, and the family because they have to bring Benjamin. And, and we learned yesterday that actually completely opposite from what they, they expected because Joseph was very, really good to them. In fact, when, when they told one of the servants of Joseph that the money uh, which they gave as payment for the food that they bought previously, the, the servant of, of Joseph said, no, 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 we, we got your money. Uh, maybe your, your God, it's your God who gave that to you. And another surprise was they were brought to Joseph's house and they were treated for, for lunch. They were given uh, extra, an extra special banquet. And, and together with that, uh, their brother Simeon was also released by, by Joseph. And, and not only that, they saw that Joseph was really, really fond with their uh, youngest brother, Benjamin, because he was given many, many times a uh, portion of, uh, like five portion more of what, what he gave uh, to, to the other siblings. And they, actually, this did not bother them. They were really happy. And for sure, Joseph noticed that. And, and Joseph probably uh, just trying to, to verify whether his brothers really were, were really a changed person. Uh, maybe one, one reason why Joseph would want to verify would want to test his brothers that because if, if they would be the same people like the uh, killers, remember, um, Simeon and, and Levi, if they did not like the, the people in the community, they would just go out and kill, kill them. Or, or Reuben probably might be tempted with women. And, and, and I, I don't know, maybe with Judah, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but in his... In his previous experience, uh, he did not have a good memory with his brothers. Maybe this this is also one thing that he needs to to check as far as the character of, of his his brothers before bringing them 
because he was he was holding a very very powerful position. He's just second to to Pharaoh, and probably he also need to make sure that that his family would would be a model also, would be model citizen, would be a blessing rather than a stumbling block to the people of Egypt. So. Uh, so that is why in in verse one, after that uh, happy moment with his brothers and and probably his brothers already uh, uh, dropped their guards, so no more hesitations. They are now happy to go home. Joseph ordered one of his steward. He commanded the steward of his house. He said, "Fill the men's sacks with food." As much as they can carry. Andy, Andy, Andy. So, ah, ilan ang kaya nyo? Ilan ang capacity ng carts ninyo? Or probably ng, ng, ng mga animals na, that, that, that you brought. So, okay? Okay? So, how much is your money this? Okay? So, Andy. And, he also ordered that he will place each man's money in the mouth of his son, just like previously, but with another specific instruction that he will put his cup, the silver cup, in the mouth of the sack of the, of the youngest with his money for grain, for the grain. So yung, yung cup, they, they, some say it's a bowl, uh, silver bowl, and and he, he wants it to be placed sa sap ni, ni, ni Benjamin because he has a plan. So he did as Joseph told him. Verse 3, as soon as the morning was light, so the men were sent away with their donkeys and they had gone only a short distance from the city. So hindi na pinalayo. Pinalapit na. Now Joseph said to his steward, up, follow after the men, and when you overtake them, say to them, Why have you repaid evil for good? Is it not that from this that my Lord drinks, and by this he practices divination? You have done evil in doing this. Um, so Joseph ordered, and, 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 and of course, yung mga tao niya follow follow this order for sure ito mong it, these are the same these were the same people who placed those money and, and even the cup pero may interesting point lang dito is that why is it that in verse 5 that the servants as ordered by Joseph uh, told uh, will tell will tell his brothers that they 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 took the the bowl or or the cup that the that their master was drinking and where he practices divination uh, they say before there they, there's a bowl that uh, that during ancient times they will use it to 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 see what will happen in the future so the bowl, the maybe they they do some ceremonies and they can they can see there in the bowl what will happen in the future. Uh, we know, but we know that Joseph is a a firm believer of God. Maybe this is another setup, <laughs> and and maybe this is to imply without revealing himself to his brothers that you know. You're the my servant and my master also practices divination. He can see what you what you did. He can see, foresee the future in order to you know, probably to pressure his his brothers more. So in verse six, when he overtook them, he spoke to them these words. This and uh, they said to him, 
Why does my Lord speak such words as this? Far be it from your servants to do such a thing. So they said, of course they were surprised. They said, why are you telling us this? That's impossible. In fact, in verse 8, they said, Behold, diba, the money that we found in the mouth of our socks we, we brought back to you from the land of Canaan. We, 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 even, we even told you that when we, when we went home, we saw the money and we, we actually want to, re, to return that, but you just refuse. Now, wh why should we do that? How then could we steal silver or gold from your Lord's house? So, because they were not, uh, they were very, very confident that they will not, uh, no one would even dare to, to take that, that silver, uh, to take that, uh, that's, that's really impossible because they were not thieves. So, that is why they said, let it be, as you say, he who is found with it shall be my servant. And the rest of you shall be innocent. Uh, sorry, verse 9. He said, Whichever of your servants is found with it shall die. And we also will be my Lord's servants. So they were, they were very confident. They said, Boss, pag may matita kang, matita mo yung, uh, dapat mamatay siya. <laughs> he should die. And, and of course, uh, not only that, we will even volunteer to be my Lord's servants or even slaves. So, yung, yung steward naman ni Joseph, probably a good actor also. He said, okay, okay, if, if that's what you want, it's okay. He who is found with it shall be my servant. And the rest of you shall be innocent. So sabi niya, pero uh, ang gusto namin, yung, yung thief lang. So he will be, we will not really kill him. We'll just take him as a servant. And, and you, you can go home. No problem. No problem. So in verse 11, then each man quickly lowered his sack on the ground. And each man opened his sack. And he searched beginning with the eldest. Grabe, no? Parang kwan pa. Parang may suspense pa. <laughs> Grabe sa drama si Joseph. And he said, and he searched beginning with the eldest and the ending with the youngest. And the cup was, of course, found in Benjamin's son. I think this is uh, why of all uh, tests Joseph did this? And why Benjamin and not and not other other siblings? Remember, during Joseph's time, si, si Jacob was really, really a bias <laughs> or jo Joseph was really Jacob's favorite to the point that all his siblings, probably except Benjamin, are so envious with him. Na to the point nga nga mas gusto nilang uh, na si Joseph would be gone. Uh, na mamamatay na. And, uh, actually, they even, they, they even tried, but they were just stopped by very human. So, it's possible because as uh, as his siblings had, had informed him earlier that you know the the father loves the youngest son so that youngest son cannot go with them because his father would really really be grieving if if the youngest son would, would, would die so joseph might be also be suspicious that that they were also envious with with benjamin and they they would want also to get rid of, of benjamin so if that's their mentality, 
Joseph would really find out because his instructions were yung the one who has the cup yun lang yung maging servant and the rest can go at kung yung siblings niya at kung ang siblings niya yung siblings still have the same grudge as they had with Joseph when he was uh, younger so Wala, walang problema for them to say, oh, da- Daddy Jacob, uh, yung anak mo naman si Benjamin ay eh, nagnakaw. Uh, it was, you know, we, we, we tried everything. We assured you that we'll take care. Eh, what can we do? Yung, your favorite son uh, stole. Imagine, after he was given all the, all the comforts, he was given five times the portion of the food, and then inakaw pa niya. So, so dad, you, can, you cannot blame us. You cannot blame us. Kita eh, kita eh. That, that, that the cup was, was with him. So they, they have the excuse. Uh, they have all the excuse not to get rid of Benjamin and uh, mas mas safe pa sila. Uh, they don't need to to lie. Uh, so wala na mga favorite children si Joseph at si si Benjamin and so na nila nila uh, si Jacob. But very surprising ang nangyari because in verse 13 all of them tore their clothes. And every man loaded his donkey. And they returned to the city. As in all of them. Not only some, but all of them. So in verse 14, when Judah and his brothers came to Joseph's house, Joseph was still there. All of them fell before him to the ground. So, see si Joseph, the man, being dramatic actor, it. Eh, uh, Sabi niya, what, what deed is this that you have done? Do you not know that a man like me can indeed practice divination? I, I know. Alam ko kung anong ginagawa nyo. Because my magic ako. I can, I can see things. Grabe siya sa, sa drama, sa script. Pero Judah said, What can we say to my Lord? What shall we speak? Ano pang pwedeng sabihin namin sa inyo po? How, how can we say we're not guilty? How can we clear ourselves? Because God has found out the guilt of your servants. Behold, we are my Lord's servants, both we and he also who is whose hand the cup has been found. Sabi niya, well, nakita ng Panginoon ang aming kasalanan. Sama-sama na kami. Hindi lang yung person who, who has the cup. Lahat kami. Lahat kami, please. But Joseph said, no, 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 no. Verse 17, far be it from me that I should do so. Only the man in whose hand the cup was found shall be my servant. But as for you, go up in peace to your father. Sabi niya, no, no, no. <laughs> hindi, hindi. Wala naman kayo kasalanan eh. Siya ang may kasalanan. So, ang, ang suggestion ko, ang order ko, I just take Take that young boy, yung thief, and yeah, 
unfair naman sa inyo, isa lang ang nakaw. Uh, Lapin ko kayo. No, 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 no. You seem to be very good, good people. So you just go and at peace and you just tell your father what your brother did. But Judah went up to him and said, Oh my Lord, please your serve, uh, please let your servant speak a word in my Lord's ear. And let not your anger burn against your servant, for you are like Pharaoh himself. So si Judah, he rose to the authority. I believe that dito na yung the Lord was already working the life of Judah. Dahil sa kanya, yung, yung line ng mga kings would come. And eventually, the line that Jesus Christ will come from his, his line. And he said, My Lord asked his servants, Have you, uh, have you a father? or a brother. Di, di po ba you remember? You, tinanong niyo po kami kung, kung may tatay kami o kapatid pa. And sinabi namin, we have a father. He's old. Old man and a younger brother. A young brother. The child of his old age. And his brother is dead. He alone is left of his mother's children. And his father loves him. So here, na confirm ni, ni Joseph, na ganun pa rin si papa niya, si daddy niya, my favoritism. At very clear din sa mga kapatid niya, as mentioned by 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 Judah, that favorite, <laughs> favorite son talaga ni Israel or ni Jacob si si Benjamin because he's the only one left of Rachel's children. Then when you said to your servants, bring him down to me, that I may set my eyes on him, we said to my Lord, the boy cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. Then you said to your servants, unless your youngest brother comes down with you, you shall not see my face again. So, sinabi niya, it's po ba? Sinabi na namin, na, it's, it's impossible talaga na pwede namin dalhin itong butso namin because my father would really, really struggle. Makamatay siya talaga. Pero, you insisted na dalhin namin. So, when we went back to your to your fathers, uh, to the servant of my father. So when we went back to your servant, my father, so we told him the words of my Lord. And when our father said, go again, buy us a little food, we told him we cannot go down. If our youngest brother goes with us, then we will go down. So we insisted, we told our father, pa, we cannot go down unless dala namin si Benji. For we cannot see man's face unless our youngest brother is with us. So then your servant, my father, said to us, You know that my wife bore me two sons. One left me, and I said, Surely he has been torn to pieces, and I have never seen him since. If you take this one also from me, and harm happens to him, you will bring down my gray hair in evil to show. Sabi niya sa amin, yung dalawa anak ko, yung isa, di ba, sinabi niyo, kinain. So, hindi ko na siya nakita. So, kunin niyo pa ito, yung si Bunso. Kung ano man ang mangyayari sa kanya, I will die grieving. 
So ito sinabi ni, ni Judah. Now therefore, as soon as I come to your father, to your servant, my father, and the boy is not with us, then as his life is bound up in the boy's life, as soon as he sees that the boy is not with us, he will die. As soon as he sees that the boy is not with us, he will die. And your servants will bring down the gray hairs of your servant, our father, with sorrow to show. The fact na hindi namin dala si Butso po, figurado mawamatay ang tatay namin. And we cannot afford to say that. Our father died really grieving. At sa totoo po, for your servant became a pledge of safety for the boy to my father. Sa totoo lang po, I'm the one who guaranteed the safety of my brother. And if I do not bring him back of, of my brother, if I do not bring him back to you, I shall bear the blame before my father all my life. So not only that my uh, kaming magkakapatid can't afford to, his, to, to see our father grieving, ako mismo will be blamed the whole life. I'll, I'll be living with the fact that I failed my father. So now therefore, please, let your servant remain instead of the boy as a servant to my Lord. And let the boy go back with his brothers. Sabi niya, boss, <laughs> pwede ako na lang. Ako na lang. Huwag lang siya. For how can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? I fear to see the evil that would find my father. You know, I think itong line ni Judah, mas ma-appreciate mo. If we are going to compare yung line niya mga 13 years before. So let us go back ng konti sa Genesis chapter 37 yung 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 last part In verse 18 sinabi dito Joseph was actually coming and the, the, the brothers were saying here comes this dreamer come now let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits then we will say that a fierce animal has devoured him, and we will see what become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, he rescued him out of their hands, saying, Let us not take his life. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, throw him in his pit here in the wilderness, but do not lay a hand on him. So they placed them. And in verse 25, Then they sat down to eat. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels bearing gum, balm, myrrh on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then, then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites. <clears throat> and let us not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers listened to him. Then the Midianite traders passed by, and they threw Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. Ang leader ang leader ng magkakapatid 
ang pinaka-leader who really instigated his brothers to sell Joseph sa Egypt was Judah. Was Judah. And that is why it may be Joseph could still imagine you know, during that time when he was begging and I think the number one who laughs at him that scores him was Judah. And to see Judah speaking those words, perfecting Benjamin, who took over the the favorite uh, the, the place of Joseph as favorite son. Probably that's 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 the final evidence that Joseph wanted to see that indeed his brothers have changed. And after that, uh, as, as, uh, as we will learn tomorrow, Joseph revealed himself to them. So I know I'm sorry not indeed. Uh, yeah, sometimes may mga kaso mga tao sa atin. Pero many times yung mga yung ating attitude is to punish them or to badmouth them. But you know what? Kung, kung if you're going to use yung mga yung kasalanan ng mga tao as a platform to minister to them, as a platform to, to to point them to Jesus, I think mas maganda yan. Instead of snubbing him until now, ha? ilang beses na pumunta sa iyo para humingi ng, ng paumanhin, but you're still uh, pusong bakto ka pa rin, I think, I think you should stop that. Rather than reconcile, but it should be a reconciliation na hindi lang na, na para makasleep ka well. But of course, you use this uh, the thing, the thing which was seemingly evil which was done to you as an opportunity to point these people to Jesus. As an opportunity to teach them to love others and also to encourage them to forgive those who have hurt them also. Uh, kaya lang ang problema sa atin, pag may kasalanan ang, ang mga tao sa atin, we, 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 we do not take advantage of that opportunity uh, to be like Jesus. Ang, ang sa atin, hindi eh. Dapat we are even praying that the Lord will harm them. We are even begging the Lord to uh, that, that the Lord would 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 condemn them. Di ba sinabi ng Panginoon sa atin that love your enemies, do do good to them that that hurt you in spite of you, persecute you. Di ba sinabi ng ng Panginoon so that you will be like your father in heaven who who, who gives such a both to the just and the unjust so so brother brothers and sisters in the lord ang tanong ko may humihingi ba ng kapatawaran sa iyo ngayon is there a person na na is trying to reconcile himself or herself to you. Pinatawad mo pa. Anong ginawa? Sana maging Joseph tayo. Although, ang mas papinakagpaganda doon will be like Jesus. Lord, forgive us our debts. Forgive us our sins as we forgive our debtors. Lord, thank you for this reminder. Sana po, uh, we are not 
uh, in uh, in situation right now that that we are still nourishing the hurts that other people uh, have inflicted on us. Sana po wapatawad natin namin sila and at the same time point them to Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Pastor, for the reminders. Okay. Uh, I just want to uh, greet uh, those people that have been greeted earlier. We have uh, Kara, welcome. We also have uh, Caradel, uh, also welcome. And I think that's it. Um, does anyone have any um, questions? I guess my, my question is... Uh, 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 so, some you know like <clears throat> i think when i was uh i was I, I was probably like 10 years old and what happened was that i had um a fight with my sister and uh i kind of like pushed her on the ground and uh i know that she was hurt but i regretted after i did that but not right away uh, it took me actually years to realize what I did. Um, I was already an, uh, I was already an adult that I I didn't know that that incident actually stuck on my mind, and uh, once in a while I would think about it. And um, that one day, um, I don't know. I think the Holy Spirit touched me, and uh, it reminded me of what happened, and I I. You know, I sent her a message. I said, Tak, can you <laughs> forgive me for what happened, you know, during that time? But then that was like 30 years past. You know, wow. <laughs> I didn't know that it was still there. And um, I, I didn't know that it was actually hurting me somehow. You know, it was uh, thinking about it. So, so she replied and she said, uh, <laughs> don't worry, I've already forgiven you. Right? So, uh, you know, I was actually in tears. I don't know. I don't know why it it, it just came. Uh, it just came into my mind. I thought I had already moved on. We were still kids. But sometimes, you know, we have that that feeling that maybe we have did something to to others. You know, that actually not realizing that it it hurt them. And it's crazy because uh, that week I uh, I also texted my other sister. My, my brother, you know, asking them <laughs> forgiveness for maybe for for things that I have done in the past. <laughs> even my Grab, even, yeah. even my even my my dad, um, uh, my my my, my uh, I mean my cousin knows her story. So <clears throat> you know, it hurt to know that your father have someone else as a child. And I, um, one day, the Holy Spirit touched me, and I decided to write him a letter. You know, all the things that it did to us was uh, painful growing up as a child. But I have to write him a letter, you know, saying that I forgave myself for whatever ear feelings that I have for him. And I have forgiven him as well. Then I really told him how I, I felt because I, I don't think I really dealt with the feeling that I had. And I, I guess that's that's one, you know, that's our culture sometimes, you know, as uh, Filipinos. Uh, that we thought we said we already moved on. But, you know, uh, just like what he said, you know, you forgive and forget, but uh, the feeling is not the same anymore, right? And but you know somehow I praise God that I was able to uh, let out all the feelings. Sometimes it's not good to to keep it all, and all of a sudden you just explode. And I, I guess that's how it is for that's how it is for men, you know, compared to um, to the ladies, but. Uh, you know, I, I praise God for those feelings and reminders that 
sometimes you just realize that oh i did this before and maybe i need to still ask forgiveness on that person so um <laughs> you know so forgiving takes a while it really takes a while but uh it's like what the bible says uh, if god can forgive why can't we right uh but I, I praise god you know for those uh, feelings reminders and everything even even the people that hurt you uh, I praise god you know because that actually kind of mold you as a person that you are now and uh you, you, we always learn from our mistake so uh, all things work together for good for those who love god amen brother amen i think uh our situation because many times is that even though you know you've offended another person but it seems that it's already okay for him we we, we no longer ask forgiveness because uh yeah you said anyway siguro okay naman but one one thing na na miss natin doon is yung experience of being forgiven kasi iba talaga pag when you really hear it from a person that I forgive you and 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 in the same way rin sa Panginoon di po ba that sometimes we say anyway the Lord that already uh, uh, already forgiven me all all my sins but yung sinasabi nila na yung confessing your sin uh, individually sa Panginoon mas mas maganda daw yun because you it's not only by agreeing that you are agreeing with God that 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 the thing that you did was was sinful against him but also must mag, must must ma experience mo yung forgiveness ng Panginoon of course already the lord that forgiven so yung parang it's the same that someone had already uh, had had specifically told you that yeah yung ginawa mo sa akin before like what happened sa kay brother Al is that yeah uh, wala na yon i already forgive you i think but but tamis yon then just trying to assume things that are just okay anyone else have many uh, maybe comments or questions Any violent reaction? Oh. <laughs> or some reflection? Yeah, maybe all of us are doing some audits right now of the, of the things that uh, transpired in the past. Uh, and I hope that uh, all of us would uh, of uh, the things that uh, I'll tawag dito um, uh, na hindi pa dati na settle. But someone asked here yeah, uh, yeah. About that, uh, how can I forgive someone if he did not ask forgiveness? Uh, I think number one, uh, just like a Joseph, no? uh, what we're going to do is just settle up settle it first with the lord you know? just be ready to forgive that any time for a time would come to you i'm ready i'm ready so if kung brother mo naman sa Panginoon, and it would be easier so you go because obligation yeah as a fellow member of body in christ to really reconcile uh, uh, because of church discipline pero kung hindi naman believer ng Panginoon ang, ang tao and and there's no way that that uh, that he's indicating na na humihingi siya ng, ng kapatawaran give, give him some time you know? or or maybe always provide an opportunity na alam mo na na may mga family reunions kayo, be there, smile, hi, kung ayaw niya, problema niyo. 
but always try to find occasion or intentionally create an occasion na baka magkita kayo or mag magmeet kayo para mas madali rin sa kanya to to reconcile himself to you. Kasi sometimes uh, kung may taong nagkasala sa atin, kita mismo ang ang pinahihirapan din natin sila. So, I, I, I believe that that wala naman siguro tao na would, would, would want to would want to live with the guilt that he because uh, the guilt that uh, he's having because he wasn't able to ask forgiveness. So, ito lang siguro no. Kung kung matigas talaga don't force yourself as much as possible uh, find ways na magkausap kayo and and settle things. Pero uh, for example, ang issue finances uh, at uutang naman siya sa iyo, oh, maybe just think about it well. <laughs> Para just help him or or her. Pero or alam mo naman na may mga challenges siya. So maybe you hindi ka naman na uh, don't don't tempt her again na na especially kung hindi naman uh, emergency parang bibili lang siya ng condo unit so so, so be discerning i hope that helped okay Uh, Father God, thank you, Lord, for the lessons that we have studied and the words. And uh, the tribe of uh, Jacob and his, and his children, Lord. Uh, this is a lesson that uh, we have to learn and apply in our life. That whenever we have problems and we have uh, uh, encounter uh, some uh, misunderstanding to our brothers or sisters. It is but proper that we have to uh, uh, ask forgiveness uh, to each and every one because there is no substitute in communication with each other. And uh, if we have committed against uh, the will of God, it is appropriate that we have asked forgiveness to the Lord because I said in First uh, John 1, 9, and if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. That is, that is, not, uh, that is saying that's all of our unrighteousness, in other words, all of our sins. So um, it is very fitting that we are always... Uh, read the book, the Holy Scripture, because we have a lot of things to learn in His Word. The Holy Book, 
the Holy Scripture is the love letter of God to us. And it's like uh, uh, that fitting that we have to study more, not only just reading, but we have to study. Uh, thank you, Lord, for giving us this day that we continue to learn you more. And thank you for your servant, Pastor Rirol, that is guiding us. And uh, above all, the Holy Spirit that is in, in us, that is uh, molding us and touching us. Well, whatever thing that we have uh, violated against God. So be with us as we continue to study more. And uh, I pray all these things. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, thank you. And thank you, everyone. Thank you for Bless joining. You. Thank, you. thank you for Cheryl, thank you. My Christmas Bless wedding. You. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pastor Errol. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Uh, yeah, thank Merry you. Brother Z. Thank you. 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 Thank you.